Welcome to Dr. Jörn Günther Rare Books. My name is Dr. Erin Donovan and today I am sharing with you a sensational work of history that we have on offer. This extraordinary manuscript portrays Roman history in all of the chivalric splendor and color of the Middle Ages. It boasts a royal textual heritage and a spectacular binding. Let's delve into this impressive work of history. This manuscript is exceptional because of a rare inscription on the last page, which explains that a royal manuscript commissioned by the French king, John the Good, was passed down through generations of nobles until it was copied here in this manuscript for the patron, John of V, a knight from Metz. This manuscript is truly in a class by itself because it actually names the scribe, Jeannin of Rouen, the illuminator, Henry of Orcavu, and the date of completion, 1440. Even more sensational and unusual is the corresponding miniature where we get a peek at the men who brought this beautiful book into being. The patron, John of V, with his armorial shield, the scribe, Jeannin, and an unusual self-portrait of the illuminator, Henry, at right. Descriptions and portrayals of a manuscript's creators are extremely unusual and make this manuscript truly one of a kind. The text that they so beautifully created was Livy's famous history of Rome, which was divided into groups of 10 called the Decades. Around 1350, the French king, John the Good, commissioned Pierre Bersuire, a friend of the famous humanist Petrarch, to make a French translation of Livy's work. Bersuire finished the task around 1358, thus creating the first French translation of any classical author. Today, this manuscript is one of only two in private hands with the complete French text, a truly wonderful acquisition opportunity. An excellent example of the outstanding illumination in this codex is the frontispiece to Decade 3, a half-page composition with four miniatures painted over a brilliant blue background. These scenes from ancient history have been imagined as if they were taking place in medieval France. The artist dazzles the reader with the chivalric flair of the French armorials and knights on horseback, bringing the Roman Empire into the French noble library and implying with its French fleur-de-lis a Roman imperial heritage for the French monarchy. Imagine ennobling your bookshelves with such a superb history. A final, very special feature of our manuscript is its fine 16th century fanfare binding, which can be identified through its gilt tooling, its geometric compartments, and its ornamental foliage. Our example is, in fact, the largest fanfare binding in existence. I hope you enjoyed this leap into the classical past as presented through medieval eyes. Please contact Dr. Jörn Günther Rare Books for further information about bringing this extraordinarily rare piece of history home to your collection today.